Hello friends, this is Aditya and you are watching Electro Vehicles India. Friends, today I am here at EV Expo which is happening in Hyderabad and currently I am at Electra Electric Bus. So here we have an executive from Electra, Mr. Sai. Hi Mr. Sai, how are hi, you? Hi, hi, hi. Thanks, I'm good. So friends, Mr. Sai is going to brief us about this Electra Electric Bus and where these services are available currently uh, now in India. So Sai, can you please brief as you are showcasing it as a premium correct, electric correct, bus correct. in the market. So what are all the premium features you are offering in this? Yeah, so I'll start with the body. So we are using aluminium body for our electric buses which is lighter in weight. Okay. So which accumulates and giving more single charge range. Okay. So the bus you are seeing here, it can give you a single charge range up to 300 to 325 kilometers okay. on a single charge. Okay. And for charging, it will take around 2 to 2.5 hours okay. for a full charge. Okay. And the so charging capacity that... of the charger is around 180 kilowatt. Okay. So, yeah. So it can take a 180 kilowatt uh, charging uh, so that it can uh, give you a, uh, like it can charge full charge in a 2 to 2.5 hours. Correct, correct, correct. Okay. So what's the top speed of it? So the top speed is 100 kilo kmph okay. and we can lock with a speed limit, like speed limiting device. Okay. So depending on the customer, they can lock 70, 80 or 90. Okay. So I can see a Mega Engineering logo correct, correct, here. So correct. have you collaborated with them? Or so what? Mega is a group company. Okay. So Electra is a part of okay, MEIL. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. So uh, now let's go inside and yeah, yeah, let's please, see what please, the please. premium features it's sure. going to offer. Yeah, so I'll the seating capacity of this bus is 43 oh, SD. Okay. So 43 people can happily you know, spend their journey. Okay. So like uh, currently where you are offering these bus services in So these India? buses are currently operating between Bangalore and Mysore, okay. Mumbai and Pune and okay. soonly it will start between Hyderabad and Vijayawada. Okay. So uh, like my major question is uh, uh, like from Bangalore to like you said Bangalore to Vijayawada right? Bangalore to Mysore. Okay. So how much is the distance from between so these two? So it will be places? around 180 to 200 kilometers. Okay. So it will it can happily go there from this okay. point to point A to point B okay. and in point B it will charge around some time okay. and again come back to Bangalore. Okay, so you are choosing uh, limited routes uh, so that correct, this, correct. Bu this bus can cover without yes, any yes, uh, yes. hassle. Okay, so what is the specialty of the seats as, so you, as you mentioned? The premium. seats are the premium seats okay. what we are offering. You can say the bolster offering and the cushion cushioning. Okay. And also we are providing head support for all the passengers so okay. that you know they can have comfort and happy journey okay and also we are providing ac vents for both the passengers and also the light for okay. their reading okay not. so and also we have giving two usb ports for each passengers okay and comfortable footrest okay so this layout is two by two layout which can it is giving around 43 plus d okay and seating can be customized as per requirement okay so recently i have heard that you have tied up with the telangana government correct so how it gonna go yeah, future. so we are under discussions to provide these buses for intercity operations in Telangana. Okay. So once that is finalized, you can see our buses on roads. Okay. So what might be the cost of this electric bus? So cost cannot be defined okay. because it depends from de uh, depends from customer to customer. Okay. Few customer will have different kinds of range okay. per day and few customers will have other. Also depending on the seating interior so okay. cost cannot be defined at okay. this moment okay i think uh, right now you are only collaborating with the governments uh, correct, state correct, governments and you correct. are uh, delivering to them yeah and soonly we are entering into private and export business also okay we have we are receiving plenty of inquiries from corporate clients for their staff transportation and okay. also uh, tarmac buses which are used inside the airport okay. from aircraft to departure gate okay and we are under discussion and closure of with one of the major airlines okay so like what's your annual capacity so our current annual capacity is 4000 buses okay. and we are coming up with a new facility near Sitarampuram Chevella. Okay. So that uh, that land has been allocated by Telangana government okay. so which is up to 150 acres. Okay. So once that we begin that plant the production capacity will increase up to 10000 buses per year. Okay. So while going to the technicalities like in uh, electric cars they use uh, a battery under the floorboard correct, correct. and they'll use a cooling system like a liquid yes, cooling yes, or any yes. passive cooling. So what cooling goes into this electric the buses? The same the same mechanism but okay. we also provide BMS which is battery management system and okay. also the liquid cooling system okay uh, same as cars we also provide the batteries below floor okay so this is of six battery pack okay so that 
in that with that it can go up to a range of 300 km okay so the base the batteries are placed at various correct, places correct. in six places right correct correct so they will charge using a, a two guns two guns okay. and two guns for ac charger which is a slow charger okay for dc you only require one gun okay that's a 180 kilowatt max correct correct okay now let's go to the driver seat and let's yeah, yeah, see please, please. so for driver we are providing complete end to end uh, details so okay. coming to the dash, dash meter okay so he can know the speed, the RPM and also the SOC remaining in the bus. So okay. it will help him to analyze the it will with more ease and also the regenerative details. Okay. And also he can control the whole bus okay. from here. Okay. E example that doors, AC, okay. TV, lights and ITS display. Okay. And this is our uh, ITS system. So it, uh, the GPS is inbuilt. He can access like the CCTV cameras display will be here. Okay. And also the command center can access where the bus is they can track the location easily okay so these are the few of the features here okay and it's complete automatic transmission we have provided the first aid box okay in case of any emergency okay so till now you have contacted only with the state governments and you have delivered the buses correct, correct. So, and we are also operating okay so from now you are also accepting the orders from like uh, private private transport. and export business also. okay okay mr sai uh, like when can we expect these buses in the public transport in hyderabad uh, it will take around three to four months. Okay. So, like, uh, while talking about the public transport, like, uh, in which means you are, uh, our TS government are going to use these buses? So, we operate for them. It's called okay. GCC model. Okay. Gross cost contract. Okay. So, we operate for TSRTC and they pay us on per kilometer basis. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like, in what routes they are going to... Um, that ha routes has to be finalized okay. by the government. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Mr. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Okay. So, friends, as you saw, this is all the information related to Electra electric bus, uh, which manufactures here in Hyderabad and uh, the, which is based out of Hyderabad. So if you have any queries, please let us know in the comment section. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. See you in another interesting video. Until then, go green, go, go electric. electric.